He was an influential religious leader and a respected and popular Towson University professor, but Rabbi Barry Frendel preyed on his female students, secretly videotaping them as they undressed for a ritual bath. Tonight, in a WJZ exclusive, two of his victims are telling their stories of the ultimate betrayal of trust. Rabbi Barry Frendel, prominent spiritual leader. Judaism is the responsibility-based religion. Respected Towson University professor. I trusted him. And master manipulator who lured women under the pretense of a religious cleansing ritual to get them to take off their clothes in front of hidden cameras he planted. These women were manipulated and victimized. The rabbi admits to secretly videotaping dozens of women. Now for the first time, two of his students violated and betrayed by the man they trusted are telling their stories to WJZ. Tell us how um, the rabbi discussed the mikvah with you. How it was presented to me was kind of like a personal baptism where you're remade new and forgiven of all your sins. He presented it also in the, you know, it doesn't have to be a religious thing. It's just a very cleansing, um, relaxing, it is what you make it sort of thing. But he was selling it. He was selling the mikvah. The mikvah, a cleansing bath inside a synagogue, typically reserved for married Jewish women. Brendel presents it to his students as an educational experience. So do you feel like you were pressured to do this? Yes, in a very discreet way. He took it a level deeper by, you know, using that, that relationship to kind of manipulate you to do what he wanted you to do. In February, Frenel admits he put many cameras in a clock radio, tissue box, and tabletop fan, all so he could record the women taking off their clothes. How did you find out or discover that these recordings had taken place? One of my close girlfriends had called me and said, you might want to read this. And that's when I made the connection. The fact that I went to the mikvah in February and I sat through the rest of class until mid-May with him and still met with him and knowing later that he had tapes of me naked in his office is mortifying. Prosecutors believe the rabbi recorded more than 100 naked women, but he only pled guilty to the most recent ones, about 50. What would bring closure for you? What would put all this behind you? Closure would be having him get some sort of help. He's a very sick man. What about you? Some part of me wants him to have to pay for his actions, but I do think that he he desperately needs help, and I really think the only closure that I'll be able to have is just myself being able to forgive him for his actions. Frendel is set to be sentenced May the 15th. He faced up to more than 50 years in prison. WJZ will continue to follow the story, and we'll let you know what happens.